Hey guys, how's it? Wait, are you? What are you doing? Are you what, seriously man, doing this right now? Come I mean, I am on, the edited dude. version of you. You think you're something special? Isn't that what this video is about? Editing? I mean, seriously. Okay. Don't I look so much better? It's pretty obvious. I don't know. I guess that's for them to decide. And I apologize for that random intro. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to take this raw photo and I'm going to show you my steps of from how I get it to here to here and what that looks like. Let's do it. All right, let's get into this. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible, but also be as elaborate as possible so you guys know what in the world I'm doing. So here we have one of my favorite shots that I got on Maui. Um, landscape shot, sunrise in the morning with the long exposure, water coming around the rocks, beach. I mean, this is, this is, just, I just love this shot. Um, I it was a two second exposure, shot at F5, 16 millimeters, ISO 160. Uh, I also took this on my Nikon D750. So the first thing that I'm going to do, um, you can notice there's some vignette down here. I am going to um, go down to lens correction, click enable profile corrections. You're gonna notice that's gonna clear up a lot of the vignette right there and the distortion on the edges. Um, and if this doesn't come up, you can go down and click, try to find your lens to fix that. Um, next thing, you can see that the horizon is not very straight right there. I'm going to click that and just straighten it up a little bit so that the picture's straight, the horizon's straight, and we'll go from there. Um, there's not a lot of color going on here, so I'm not going to mess with the white balance or any of those slides yet. I'm going to bump up the contrast. Um, I like a lot of contrast in my photos. Next, I'm going to bring up the vibrance a little bit just so I can um, start to see the colors and see what's going on. Bring the exposure up a little bit. So pretty much from here, I just go and slide the slides in different places. Um, you know, you can see the shadows are dark, you can see the highlights are light. So um, maybe bring, you know, bring that down, bring the shadows up a little bit. Um, I just like to get a lot of contrast and like to make everything look um, visible and just so it pops pretty well. Clarity and dehaze, um, don't do a whole lot with those. You know, you can make some crazy looking stuff if you go all the way with those. Um, that's just not my style. I don't like to go too, too much clarity or dehaze, depending. Um, but some definitely get some details in there. Um, so I'll probably, you know, I'll move a little bit and then I'll probably end up coming back some. Um, so we'll get onto the curves here. I usually like to bring the highlights and the lights, you know, up. You can still see that things are pretty dark there in the, in the darks and the shadows. Um, so keep those up a little bit. Don't want to bring them up too much. If you bring them up too much, then, you know, there's not, there's no contrast there. There's just everything's just looking the same. So you wanna, I'm gonna keep it right down in there. And this is where a lot of the play comes in here is the colors, you know, you got your huge saturations and luminances. So I'm gonna mess around with those a little bit. Um, I usually like to bring the blues down a little bit, not a whole lot. Yellow, oranges a little bit more yellow just cause in the sand right here, I want it to be a little bit more sandish color, a little bit more yellow. Um, Maybe bring the yellows actually down a little bit into the orange, barely. Saturations, you know, I want everything pretty, pretty saturated. Um, just because, you know, it's a, it's a landscape scene. It's a vibrant landscape scene. Um, yeah, I mean, we want this thing to pop. We want, we want the colors. I mean, we're on Maui here. We got the ocean. We got the sky. We got the beach. We're going to make it look awesome here. Luminances, that's the brightness and darkness of each of the colors. Um, probably bring those up a little bit everywhere. Um, probably bring the blues down a little bit in the sky to create some contrast in the sky. Sharpening, um, depends on what I'm doing with the photo, but I'm not gonna sharpen it too much for now. Just keep it around the 50. A little bit of noise reduction, and then yeah, some color noise reduction helps as well. That's probably, I mean, there's a vignette down here. I'm not going to maybe do a little bit on that. I know I took some out. Um, I'll probably do a, a, just a hair. 
Um, I like a little bit of vignette. So we've got to look in R right here. Maybe a little bit more color um, will do good. I mean, this is a, the colors here are looking crazy. So also something I'm going to do, you see these little pebbles here? I'm going to take a couple of these out. It's just something, they're a little bit bothersome to me. So I go to the spot removal tool, click on the pebble, and drag it to where you want to replace that spot with. Um, you can either clone or heal it. I, th I am healing it in this one. So pretty much just drag over it and then pick where you want it to replace it with. Easy enough, and just taking those out, it's just a little bit less distraction for the photo for me. This looks already, this looks incredible already. I mean, to go from, I mean, where we went from there to there, like it's honestly unbelievable, and that's why you shoot raw. That's, that is literally, I mean, this is the all, this is all I have to show as my case for shooting raw right there. Um, you will not be able to get this out of the JPEG and still, you know, have this type of quality in this photo. Um, I am going to add some graduated filters still, just on the sky right here. Um, so drag that down, and then the what you're editing, the filter is going to be above it. You can click Show Selected Mask Overlay to show where you your mask is and where it's editing. Um, this is one that was the last one that was used, but we're going to bring we're going to bring some contrast into the sky right here, and then maybe a little bit of clarity just to give it some definition not a whole lot like i said i'm also going to do a graduated filter underneath the sky on the land and the ocean right down here and then for that one i'm actually going to bring everything up a little bit bring everything up a little bit um give it a little bit of contrast because i want i want there to be just a lot of contrast in these the between the rocks and then the water and then the rest of the beach i bring the highlights up and then also the whites up because that the whites right there i mean that's if you bring them all the way down you know you can see everything starts to blend together but you bring those whites up and every, it just it starts to really really pop right there um going to Let's see, I like that right there. And also, what I'm gonna do in this photo is you can see that the sun is rising right over the horizon right here, and then there's a lot of blue and purple in this part of the sky. So I'm gonna just make it, I'm gonna to try to do a filter right kind of over towards this side of the sky, just so that there's almost like, kind of just like a complement to the blues and purples. I'm gonna make this one a little bit more um, of a warm temperature so that make it a little bit more warm just to where this like sun is coming up so that you can you can just see that there's a difference there um yeah i think that looks great i mean this is this shot is amazing the colors that morning i mean this is just brings back so many memories for me but i love this shot and there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this edit and I would love to see your edits, what you can do with your photos and your creativity and style. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.